Now, just to refresh our memory, I had to move the uh, stanchion forward to pull the boat further up because the new heavy motor made the uh, front so light you could lift it with your little finger. I moved it about four inches and that gives it maybe another 40 kilos. I think the limit on the tow ball is 50. But next I want to replace that uh, cable. It's all tangled up and it's got uh, bits sticking out. I temporarily taped up. I have this. Let me just uh, get over here. People say I don't smile very often but uh, I can if I think about it. I want to replace that cable with this strap. That hook's a little bit too big for my ring on the boat. So I'm going to uh, have to figure something out. Do I really want to do this? Now in order to remove the hook from the old cable I have to get this uh, eye out thimble. The thimble is stuck in the hook. What am I going to do? I'm going to try a special tool. If I hold that and hit this with something, it might just come out. This is all I have handy. And I'm going to give it a smack on this part. One would think and it would come out, but wouldn't one? There's another way I could try and put a screwdriver in here. Two days summer, just came and went. I had to get up at, uh, I think it was 3.30 in the morning because I hadn't put the things holding up the roof yesterday. And by the time I got out here it was drenched. I thought that was out then. Apparently not. Yeah, drenched. Everywhere. How am I going to? How am I going to attach this on here? Do I cut the hook there, pull this out and pull that put that around here? Or do I open this hook so it'll fit on there? That is longer than this. If I could open this, oh, I don't know. I'll get a giant uh, snap hook. So now what I have to do is remove the uh, cable grip thing, pull the cable out, drill that hole through to the other side, and put this bolt which is flush almost at that end because there's not much room between the uh, support for the bracket. This one's got a fair bit of room in here so I can take the nut. I'll just have to cut the, uh, the bolt to the right length. Make this hole big enough for the bolt, which is bigger than that. But I've got to mark the other side as well, so I'll try and reach it with this one. I'm always poke it through and hit it with a hammer. Near enough, good enough because uh, it's buried under the strap. The chuck is hitting this now. Actually moved. Good. I'll just take the next size up, this should be longer. What I thought was moving in before is actually moving the drill slipping back in the chuck. 
through it. I can't tap it because uh, it needs a square hole. Because that, with a sort of a flat head like that, you need to take a coach bolt. And if I file that square, when I get to this diameter, which is that drill. Right, here we go. Right, it's still a bit tight. It has to be a lot bigger. So I've left over the time. Side bit too near. I might not even file it, I'll just go up and do it uh, just. Not pulling through and then I'll tighten it and pull through and uh, make it stay. Reverse. Pull. Forward. Screw it off by it. Reverse. Forward. The hole's getting bigger. If you want to demagnetize the drill to uh, get rid of all the filings or drillings or whatever, just hit it with something steel like that. It's all on here now. So it de demagnetizes the drill. Don't ship the uh, cutting edge. Something tells me that it's got to be uh, dug out a lot further. I can see getting to a point where I'm going to have to grind off one edge. Pity I can't get this out uh, unless I grind the shaft and put a new one in. Make a bigger hole. Why is that falling out all the time? It uh, took itself out second last before the half inch. It's going to have to come off. You've got to throw sparks at the camera, isn't it? I better turn it. It uh, fell out. A little longer bolt. Where was I? Going to get a different one. So I've got the other one I made and it's turning. Now I'm going to pick that up and try it. I 
I'll let the guy in. This end do a test fit. Should really get a bucket of water. Doesn't make much more. up the side facing the camera is up. Measure this, cut it. I'll cut it there, it'll be flush with the edge of that. Winding up goes that way. So as it turns out it's uh, down that side. Firstly, do you want to see what this looks like? This has to jump over there, and I haven't gulled it yet. There or there or here. I better do that now. Right, this is not paint. It's a zinc rich coating. You can thin it when it's sort of solid looking. It doesn't skin like paint. You can thin it with uh, turps, I think. But I'm not going to. Coat it on thick. I've used it on the uh, things that go rusty on gates and stuff, and it lasts for years. We hope that that's going to pull in. Not enough to grip. Much. Put on a piece of wood. I could be pushing against a nut, so I'll have to have a look. If possible, I'll tighten it a touch. No, not touch. No, I will move. The corners are hitting on the centre boss. Going well. It's pulling through. I didn't forget to put the strap on, did I? It's doing exactly what we were hoping for. I'm supposed to use shifters backwards. However, in this case, I'll do it. I think of only riding on over this for a minute. So then I didn't put the Loctite on, so I'm going to loosen it again. I'm not even sure if Loctite works on stainless steel. You'll notice that the bolt is flush with the nut and it's not going to touch the frame th side thing. Going up, upwards now, the part's tight and then it, the tree gun. Tension. Maybe I should take this hook out of here before it's too late. Right now we're at the part I don't know what to do. I have decided that I'll cut the uh, giant hook off the strap and put this one on, which is uh, stainless steel anyway. That's not. It's going to go rusty in no time. So I'll use this um, same cut off disc I use inside the window frame. It's two and a bit mil. If I can switch this on, that is. There's still a tiny bit left. That's all um, soaking wet paper, junk mail. And that's it, so I don't go too far. 
cut into the uh, actual strap. That gap should be wide enough if I can tease it out. come out I'd uh, cut a big chunk. Somebody can weld that and use it again. This side is up. If you're right handed it will be that way. So I'll put this on but I have to uh, make something so this can't slip out. However I'll go and get something that's closer to eight and this I have to wait until I uh, go down the street. I did find something while I was looking for the uh, cable clamp. It's the old measuring tape six feet I would have bought that in 1955 60 years old 55 15 years that's uh, 60 years old when I started work jack's squeaking no good have to do that fix this I don't know where it's coming from good stuff eh Ever seen it before? Yeah. Can't leave home without it. Last night I bought these eight mil yeah, rope grips to get one to go around here and stop the loop of the strap to come out. And they're, they're big. I was going to get the galvanized one, but they're about twice as big as these. Great big nuts and stuff. And uh, they cost nearly 12 bucks. You can't buy one. So I thought to myself, what if I drill a hole? tap it and put a, a metal thread just through that bit there that doesn't matter you know no strain then I can take these back and buy another tin of white paint that I've just run out of step one I'll see if I can punch the dimple in here it's stronger than that very small don't do that you break your device it's getting bigger but very slowly bigger drill, more grip. That little drill was blunt. Put the bigger one in, there's no problem. This is in there so that can't go down. Like all the steel. to go and find a screw that I like. I, I want something flat. Uh, maybe something that'll screw right in. I can turn it from in between so your hand doesn't get caught on it. Oh, I made a lucky find. A screw with a uh, turned down point with a Phillips head and a built-in washer. That's not going to catch anybody's hand. And I checked in 6mm metric. Found myself a 6mm metric tap. It's got two, uh, two sizes of jaws. Having done that, I, uh, I looked it up on this computer. There's a 6mm M6 thread and there's a 5mm drill. Seeing my metric drills are not here, I measured them with my plastic 
plastic calipers okay. and I discovered that 5 mil is the same as uh, whatever that was 1364 I see that's sharp I'm getting good at making these mistakes. What made me think that it was 6mm? I know 6mm is a quarter. That is only 5.32. And I have all the taps. I didn't, didn't have the 3.2 metric drill it says in the chart, but I've got something close. I hope this is sharp.
Oh my. Is that calcium? Uh, no, that's cool. Calcium. silicon from a dim and distant memory if you're doing cast iron you uh, can use water or kerosene it's actually cutting up he was cutting the, on the backstroke it's cutting off it's breaking he must have Seize up now, but the silicon, the silicon did the job in the end. The screw, and so I probably lost it. I'll see if that fits. It would have reached on this. Part, but not that part, so it's not going to hurt anybody's hand, I think. If it does, I should dip on it. Why did you do that? Maybe the magnet can grab the screw. Oh, that picks up the whole thing. So it's been not treated, and it's attracted some. What you call them properties, magnetic. Not doing anything. Well, I've made another discovery. Did I say it was 532? <laughs> it's actually 360. So these dags are going to cut through the strap. Don't file them. nut that is on the inside so I can tighten them up later so the screw can't vibrate out. It doesn't leave much room for that I should have gone up further and it's at a different angle. Well it's so tight it's close enough now can't get out. And I'll go and put it on and if that turns out good I'll make a brass or stainless steel one. Sorry for the hold up. I have to go and find a uh, 516 spanner tighten up the nut and I'll let the screwdriver on the box. Did I do it right? I don't think it matters. Just grab it like so. Instinctively fit that under. If we can't get it in there it hasn't got enough room. Oh, there it is. Taking about the same room as it did before. Screwdriver to screw the metal thread. Holding it up. Here I go with this spanner. Nearly super tight. Just got stuck in the uh, where the ligas come together. Now it's super tight. Put that 
about it. I can uh, feed it through the hole, get the sticky tape out of the way. Put the hook in the spring thing. Get this one. Stand a little bit finger in between. Another twelve dollars saved. So I did a tad more thinking, and I've taken out the screw with the head on it because that was only steel. This is stainless. It's the same thread, and I had a stainless nut. It's one nut amongst all the five mil ones. It's actually three sixteen. So I've run a 316 tap through that. I'll cut this to size. I'll have the nut on it and I'll grind the top smooth. I should be able to unscrew it with pliers here. The hacksaw is in the boat with no blade in it. Features, that's now seamless. Yeah, if I put it here, then I can see what I'm doing. I can hold it with this. Turn that. If I put the nut in the right place, it'll go inside that one. the hard part. It's uh, sort of a nylock type. Even though I put a tap through it, we still lock a little. This hammer is uh, dangerous. Right. So I've only damaged it a little bit. While I'm doing this, I still have to put the uh, loop in, don't I? Even the threaded part is now jammed in the dimple. So I'll just turn this nut until it locks up. Slight nylock effect. Yeah, that's fixed nicely. I'm now going to loosen this. So here's the finished result. Can't see what I'm doing again. It's a good hook. Hooks onto everything. So there's the uh, that hole should not be there. That's a mistake I made in the beginning. It's not the only thing you can feel is that. This would be easier to do when the boat's still in the water. Just have it hanging down there. Spring. 
what we have is a safety chain which gets in the way. It's tangled up. So I'm going to undo this safety chain. Hang on. So that came. That came out of something, now I can't find where. And I couldn't find it for a while because it's hiding hiding behind the handle of the easy nail. So now we go back to business. We had I have to get rid of that. That camera camera beginner that's on there. Not now. I have to put this through there that way, then I can, it's a clumsy thing, that's not necessary, that is absolutely the wrong thing to have there. So there, safety chain's on. Now I've got a bit more space. I'll put this through there. Yeah, a bit more space, but it's not, not enough there. Now I can wind it up again. Anyway. Another job finished.